Good afternoon, everyone. I am Councilmember Johnson, uh, representing District 1. Today I'm joined by our city manager, uh, Robert Layton. And as you all know, the pandemic has impacted our world in unexpected ways, and definitely during this past year, uh, some in very tangible and lasting ways that will continue to shape our community for decades to come. One of those areas that has been overwhelmingly changed is the tour tourism and convention industry. And we've talked about that quite a bit at council um, as we looked at what was going on with Visit Wichita. Um, but even with the event cancellations and reduced bookings um, that have become the norm, probably even well into 2021, not just in Wichita, but also across the nation, we want to make sure that Wichita is best poised to work in the changing landscape of convention and tourism. And the city of Wichita is preparing a request for proposals seeking professional management <clears throat> of Century 2. And with that, that's why we're here today, uh, talking with you. So can you tell us why we are uh, preparing for this RFP process? Sure. Thanks, Thanks so much for uh, inviting me to the show. Um, <laughs> the, um, I, you really hit on the most important reason, and that is we recognize that we're in a brand new environment for convention business, for uh, meetings and, uh, and uh, other events that we traditionally have ha had at our convention center and Century 2, the round building. And we need a different business model. It became pretty clear uh, early in the pandemic that the, the state of uh, convention business is going to be different going forward, even after the pandemic. And we want to use best practices. We want to get professional managers who understood the business as it was, but also can predict the trends going forward and help us adjust our operations to be able to take advantage of whatever that new environment is going to be. So that's why we're soliciting proposals for uh, private management. And in many ways, this, this process would be better than what we had before because, as you said, we'll have a professional company that really focuses on doing that and bringing that help here to, to our city. Right, right. And um, in a way that um, hopefully will uh, meet the needs just of our local community because we have a lot of events that are just local, but also uh, recognizes what the desires are for regional, statewide, and uh, national conventions that we bring forward. Awesome. So in, in August of this year, we're almost at the end of the year, but in August of this year, the city council voted to ensure that any plan to sell or demolish Century 2 would be put to a public advisory vote. And that also included significant renovation, I believe was another part of that policy. So the public management company, would they be taking ownership of the facility or just manage the facility? That's a great question. I think there's a misconception. We are not uh, privatizing the building where someone would take over ownership. Uh, instead, what we're doing is sim simply con contracting for management of the facility. So we'll retain ownership. We'll still have responsibility for maintenance of the, of the facility. And as you mentioned, if we do any significant capital improvements, those will also be brought forward for public discussion. Awesome. I know that was one of the main concerns that, that I continued to hear was, uh, are we selling it? Are we privatizing it? Are we doing any major renova renovations? And I know the council really cared about, you know, the folks who supported the petition process early on and making sure that anything significant like that would go out to a public vote. So right. this process is different from that. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we maximize our operations at the facilities as they exist. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> again, this seems more about programming and not... Um, can't think of everything I've heard, but but basically passing this buck off to someone else. This is really kind of like what Cedric County is doing with the arena and having a professional management group there. And in that, they haven't sold off all those assets, but that uh, entertainment group has really helped, or management group has really helped bring more life into the arena. And we're hoping to see some of the similar um, impact here with Century 2. And they brought sound business practices. Uh, it, right now, we have uh, we subsidize the operations of C2 by about two and a half million dollars, and we're hoping that by bringing in private operations, private management, that we'll be able to reduce that just through their change in business practices. Do you feel um, in any way? So one of the the things or concerns that we've heard is um, cost will change. So all of these affordable programs that we already have at Century Two that would change significantly and. From what I've, what I've read and what we've talked about, I haven't seen any indication of that. Is that fair to say? Well, I think ultimately the council will decide what the fee structure looks like still. The, again, it's our facility. 
they'll, they'll be managing and operating it for us, but the council will still have our exercise control over our fee structure. And if there's a policy about uh, trade shows or about uh, consumer shows um, or some of the, the Wichita attractions that use the facility, uh, then the council will adopt those policies on what the pricing will be. Awesome, awesome. Um, and for those of you who follow me on social media, and of course our city manager knows, I'm always asking about educating citizens, whether it's asking for a video to be put on social media or just walking through people through a process. So with that, can you explain a little bit about how the RFP process will work? Sure. Um, well, first of all, the council is very clear that they wanted as much public input into this process before we went out and solicited proposals. So today, we're starting a process of uh, the community reviewing the RFP, uh, the draft RFP, RFP, and I know you'll talk about that in a minute, about how they can access that. And then after we get comments from the public, we will present something to the council in early February for formal adoption of the document before we even solicit proposals. Um, what we're going to send out, if uh, the council authorizes it, is a, a document that actually has two um, actions or pieces to it. Initially, we're asking firms to submit their qualifications. Uh, tell us about the types of facilities you've operated in the past. Give us a little bit of an idea of what operation would look like here. We'll then narrow the list from the proponents that we, or the proposals that we receive, and then we'll ask them to provide a very detailed proposal to us, and we'll use, we'll evaluate those and, and then use that information to make a recommendation to the council about moving forward. Awesome. So, so we are seeking more public input in this process, not just something we're doing on our own. We want more people to engage in that process. Right. And then they'll be able to engage with the council when it comes before a council as well. Correct. Okay. So I, I believe the RFP will come to council in February of 2021. Um, but again, before we put that out, we're definitely wanting citizen residents to weigh in on their thoughts and questions about this. Um, the link uh, to ask questions is on top of the chat that is up right now. We'll make sure that that's posted on all of our uh, city platforms so you have access to that directly on social as well. And it won't be uh, the RFP will not go live until we've heard from the public. So again, we want public input on the actual RFP before we put it out for folks to bid on. Right. Okay. I think it's important that um, we reemphasize something you talked about early on. This has nothing to do with the future of Century Two and of the Convention Center, right? This is about doing our best to operate that facility following state-of-the-art 21st century practices. And we want that building to be successful. And um, there'll be time later on to, for the council to, to, to communicate with the public, engage the public regarding the future of uh, the, that complex. But today, we just want to make sure that we're operating it to the, uh, the best of our abilities with professional expertise and reducing the taxpayer's uh, burden on operating that facility. So what, what would you say, uh, I guess, in at this time for the argument that we're just neglecting it, we're not um, doing anything, and we're really just trying to make the facility not work so we could do something else. Because I, I would say with the council vote uh, committing to funding for at least a decade, that's not the case. And it seems with looking for someone to help manage the facility, especially as our economy recovers right now, this is probably the opposite of that. We're looking at more how do we really activate this space. I, it, you took the words right out of my mouth. It, it, it's my intention that we do the exact opposite of what you described previously. And that is that we want to operate this as effective, effectively as we can. We want to identify capital needs uh, for the building. We want to identify impediments to us being successful. Are there things that we need to do to reinvest in the buildings in order for them to be successful for community gatherings as well as for conventions? Let's go ahead, uh, determine what those are, make those improvements, and then also improve our day-to-day -day operations. Awesome. So again, on this, we're going to be asking for your feedback for the next three weeks. So make sure you send in your questions to the link that's posted and get that in before January 18th because we definitely want to hear from you, we being the city, the council, um, city manager, to make sure we have enough information on the RFP to put it out and again, just aiming to be transparent in that process. And th um, throughout the process, the next three weeks, as we get uh, comments and questions, we will then modify the uh, frequently asked questions portion of the website so that people can see 
what questions are coming up, what suggestions there are for modification, and we can have a, a, a dynamic dialogue during this period of time. Okay. And then um, lastly, you know, just, just again to talk about it publicly, I know there were some concerns about some of our uh, community partners that use the facility now for special events, one coming up here in January. Uh, is there any concern with looking at this professional management that that wouldn't be available to our partners? No, no. It, the buildings will be available um, and uh, through this entire process. We don't anticipate to do anything differently except what's required by the pandemic. Right, so there'll be events that we cannot hold safely in Century Two, and we'll continue to uh, refrain from uh, allowing those to occur. But those that can meet the county standards, uh, health standards, uh, will continue to accommodate those. Okay, is there anything um, that we forgot to talk about that maybe folks should know in this process? Uh, what's coming up? Next steps that uh, you want to highlight? You know, the only thing I want to do is, again, encourage people to submit their comments. I mean, this is a serious process. It's guided by the council direction that we received earlier in the year. And uh, I think th this is an authentic attempt to get uh, a refined RFP that gets us uh, you know, the best management of the facility that we can get. I agree. Well, definitely want to make sure that <clears throat> folks reach out with questions. Stay tuned as we work to ensure that we are best positioning our tourism and convention industry for success. Um, and again, we want to hear from, from you. And that's something that I know this council has really been, been pushing, at least since I've been on council, and I know before as well, that we want more public engagement, more feedback helps us make better decisions and make, gets better representation for the people. So hopefully we can get uh, all of that feedback and, and comments in. Please share that with your friends uh, so that we can get that. And um, if there is nothing else, then definitely want to thank you for being here, City Manager. Thanks and, for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> and having this for the public. And again, I just want to encourage everybody to uh, get to the link, um, submit all your thoughts, your comments, feedback through the link as well. If you also want to email council members, you can, but we are pushing everybody through that link so we all can get the same information. Um, and with that, thank you all for tuning in.